There was beatboxing. Like I didn't know what is beatboxing. <laughs> Haryanvi people in general are really cool. When we lamp, when we light a lamp, even mm. in our homes, right? We normally are without slippers. So I thought that's the most obvious thing to do. Well, there's a census town in South Delhi district, and that's called Fatehpur Beri, and that territory is being tabbed on screen by Madhur Bandarkar, and of course, the one who's playing Bubbly is Tamanna. We are talking Bubbly Bouncer. Now, Fatehpur Beri is called the Bouncer Factory. Very interesting concept. Of course, you're playing the bouncer. Uh, did you get a chance to visit the place? Have you been there for your recce or? or uh, what? I went to. I mean, I only directly reached Chandigarh, but sir has gone through the entire process. We've gone through BM right yeah. Gone and we met a lot of people over there, and plus we uh, interacted with bouncers in Delhi also. Yeah, so actually that's Bouncer Factory, and, and which exports its bouncers, bouncers to Delhi. Everywhere. Yeah. What was the prep like? Uh, this film actually required me to prep a lot. Uh, I had uh, to learn how to ride a bullet, which is a pretty heavy uh, bike. But otherwise, you could ride two wheelers. Yeah, it's strange. I can't ride a cycle, but I can ride a bike now. It's weird. But uh, apart from that, there was beatboxing. Like I didn't know what is beatboxing uh, till I uh, started work on this film, and, and uh, that was really fun. I didn't I didn't realize that this is an absolute like passion for so many people, and and so, so, it's such a talented. It requires so much skill to be able to do that, and it's such a talent to have. Uh, Are we talking about beatboxing as in rap? Yeah, beatboxing? yeah which is the the sounds that you make. Did you your, did you start with Boots and Cats? Yeah, Boots and Cats. You was, did? was my was my first uh, uh, lesson. Do you mind doing something for us? We can do Boots and Cats only. Do okay. you do? Do you do you beatbox? I I wanted to learn. Okay. So at one point I started learning, but beatboxing? of course I'm absolutely suck at it. So no, no, I, but I please don't go think ahead. I'm great, but I will give it a shot. Yeah, so, no, good job. Uh, no, but tell us about the story. So, what is Bubbly doing? Where is she going? What's her story? <clears throat> the unfolding is very interesting. Uh, Bubbly is from the small village, uh, Ariana, mm -hmm. And then how her basically journey to Delhi and uh, her love interest, her relationship with the father, mother. So, lots of things are there. Why and is she beatboxing? That you have to cool. see the movie. <laughs> I think that is the movie. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Why Bubbly Bouncer is also this very fun world is also because I think Haryanvi people in general are really cool, self-assured and genuinely uh, funny and uh, they're genuinely like they have a sense of humor in like everything. They're just never, uh, they're just never a dull moment in their, uh, and I and I, my hubby is Haryanvi so I actually know a person who, uh, and I've always seen her um, crack the most like cold jokes and I'm like how, from where do you get that? So I, while I was researching on the, uh, the Haryanvi, dialect, I realize it comes to most uh, most Haryanis. There's this cold humor happening. Did you have a, an accent coach or yes. did, you, did you pick it from your bhabi? Uh, <laughs> I had first heard it from my bhabi, but of course I had a coach, uh, his name is Umesh and he was, uh, I think we both had this discussion, we were like listen, and it's a sing sound film, so there is no real scope of um, uh, you know, going for a full-on dub where you can correct the language. This time it's not a theatrical release, does that change anything for you? No, nothing changes. I mean, it's, I have, we have not absolutely compromised. It's, in fact, it's a quite a good budget we, we got for the film. And plus, uh, I've shot like a film only, completely. So there's no compromise over in, in terms, because it will be a digital release. Because nowadays when we see the it's original Netflix or a, a Prime and this is Disney Hotstar, so we wanted that kind of opulence in the film. So hmm. we wanted that bigness in the film. So we absolutely there no compromise over there. So you will feel like you're watching a film only. Yeah. Just because it's coming to OTT doesn't mean that we uh, subtract certain amount of things in the film. Lovely. And you know, we are in an age of social media, of course. Yours is an OTT release. Uh, what you, what we used to witness in theatres, which is claps and whistles, is now becoming voices on social media, right? Um, does that change promoting a film for you and what is the strategy you go with? Are you doing a lot of reels or do you get active, okay, my film is coming so I have to be there on Instagram? I think uh, for me, Instagram definitely has become a way of life and I enjoy it. I, I mean, to be honest, I'm not someone who shies away from social media. I enjoy it myself. But yes, it's also a great way of controlling your narrative if you realize back in the day, it was only media representation that brought an actor out 
as what they are as stars and personalities but today you have control over your own narrative you can tweet what you want you can tweet what you want you can post what you want and that's a reflection of you so whether you like it or not every time you make a post you're saying something very profound about yourself so i think it needs to be done responsibly okay and very recently there was one video which really went viral where you were at an event and you had to light a diya you removed your sandals that was quite impressive and a lot of people appreciated you for that actually i i, I didn't understand how it all kind of get, went into that direction because that's something just that we did like right. in the south whenever there has been a, a light when we lamp when we light a lamp even mm. in our homes right we normally are without slippers so i thought that's the most obvious thing to do <laughs> So I did. I mean, when I got that reaction, I was like, "But isn't this what they say? What is?" But I guess I understand that um, it's so it's so lovely to do things which are close to our culture because it's such a rich culture that we have. Right. So why not celebrate it? Well, thank you so very much, and congratulations on on this release Thank and all you. the very best. Thank, Thank you, you so, Thank so much. You so much. Thank, Thank you. you.